Hi, my name is Jerry. My name is Mary Tim. And together we are Jerry, Jerry Tim. Tim. It was awesome in a nutshell. It was an experience we hold dearly to our hearts. We learned, we, we studied, we got to know about ourselves, we got to know about cultures, we got to know about um, different people's cultures and their ideas cohabiting in one space. It was a lot and it was fun for us too. And we also um, made new friends and for some of us found love, found new friendship. You know, so it was a whole total package for us and we are really grateful and appreciative for the opportunity. Okay, to me it was challenging, it was fun, um, getting to know new people, finding love, friendship, the game, the party, that Friday night party, and um, okay, the master class, then the games, like couple games, then the play. So it was fun. The process, wow. It was tacky. It was challenging. It was a whole lot. It was not something you just, okay, you have to go. So if they pick you, you're just blessed. So <laughs> that's how I'll put it, yes. That's how I'll put it, yeah. Well, um, it wasn't luck. No, it, it wasn't was a good luck at all. We had screenings, auditions, stages. It was a lot for us. At some point, it was even tricky because there was no more response. Just silence until that very day you get called up. So that's what it was. It was attraction. At first sight, then we get to know ourselves and we decide to take things step by step. The story is long. The process was not as simple as it sounds, but I got into the house a week after the show came live and she got into the house a week after I came. Yeah, so I already was paired with someone, then I had the chance to swap and I went for her. <laughs> no, no. I mean, that was the reason why I could swap because I wasn't in any way um, attached to the person. They were, they were just normal friends. You know, the, the feeling wasn't there yet. You know, and um, I wanted something more. I wanted someone that I was more attracted to, you know, at least to start off from there. You know, and when she walked in, I knew, okay, yes, she's the one. And confirmation, assurance, the party, conversations, speed dating happened. And eventually on Monday, I think that's when we did the pairing again of the swap. Yeah, um, as you can see, just check him out, check him out, check him out. <laughs> He's handsome, needs Clean, like I said, clean. Yeah, not this, yes. <laughs> He's clean, and when he walked towards me, I was like, wow, what was this cute guy? And he was persistent, so mm. I kind of gave him the opportunity. <laughs> so I was, I was aware I wasn't really sure what was happening that minute we heard people screaming. But I don't know, something just said, Jerry, just chill, just sit down. You know, don't go rushing. So I decided not to go rushing. I just sat down and she came towards me like she walked. She was wearing a yellow dress, you know, and I liked the way she carried herself. And her smile, her smile was beautiful. Oh. I felt it, um, it gave her away, you know, and I just knew, okay, I would want to get to know this person, you know, so that was it, and the conversations started. At that time, 
there was no one to swap with or to pick again. So I was, I was, um, I only had to be who I had to be at that time. He was oh. stuck with me. Stop. <laughs> no, as he said, if if it wasn't you, like if you weren't there. No, it was not. I had choice. Chidi was available. And he was consistent too, but I had choice. I I knew why I didn't pick him because Sylvia, ah, she's a nice girl. So she actually talked to me that that she likes him. So kind of okay. And but I was not I was not into Chidi. Then there was. Chris Veal too, so I had choice, I had two choice. Then with some other backyard choice, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing, we've never talked about the money. Yeah, we've never, I think. The only thing we even meant talked about more was the items in the Port Mountain. Yeah, and I was like, I think you should just have the stuffs in it. But um, the amount is um, even, so we could share it 50-50, yeah. <laughs> uh, not really, <laughs> please, not really, just, you guys should just give us time. We need to breathe and we need to, this is another world, so we have to get used to it. This is the real world. Yeah, so we're taking it one step at a time, like she said. Um, for me, honestly, I wasn't expecting Sunday. I, was just, I don't know, I just had that, um, that belief that from next Sunday, it's, it, it should be an okay thing for me, you know, but I wasn't expecting this Sunday, you know. But I, I noticed that um, before that Sunday, I had a um, series of dreams that I couldn't really interpret to properly, but I just felt it was like, okay, it's getting close, it's getting close, like you have things you're going to do outside. Nobody knew it was going to be that Sunday. I would have sworn that I would probably not want to pack everything of mine, just pack things and feel like I'm not going anywhere, you know, but... It was a shocker. Okay, as for me, I was not happy because um, my partner, um, let me put it this way, he didn't have my time as I wanted. So we didn't really give out content, love content, because it, it was all about love. So it was cool and I was ready to go. So. I still have something. It's a win-win. No, I was single. Yes. Is it yes? Yes. Do you want to go first? Okay. Sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Number one on Friday, Friday night party. I was, <laughs> I was always on fire. I liked the game, the makeup game, you understand? I liked the master class. Is the hype of it. I like, um, what else, what else? Okay, with the time I had with Jerry, then with my special dates, you know, those moments are, Things I won't forget. Yeah. Okay, um, let me see. Number one would be the master classes. Yeah, they were really helpful and educative. Um, we learned a lot, and I believe each and every one of us took something home, you know, and um, the Sunday, Friday parties were always something we looked forward to. It was really a relieving, you know, we had fun, yes. yeah. And the last one we were able to be part of was 
way much fun. There was stuff to eat, there was cake, you know, and um, our presentations. Yeah, yeah they were really very important. They were really nice because yeah. at first it seemed like it was a lot for us, but at the end of the day, we always came out really good. Um, then there was the um, learning of learning to make different things like the tie and dye. We had the beads. Yeah. Yeah. So it was there was a lot of things that we really enjoyed being in the house, and those are memories that will live with us. And the private time, you know. Yeah, and um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the auntie's love pad is a beautiful place. The atmosphere, it just makes you feel like life is just easy and simple. You wake up every morning, you have the best, you know, at your disposal. So, I mean, everything, the movies, the game nights, everything was awesome. Okay, I will talk about, mm. I have some things, <laughs> but I will talk about it next time, but just have some tips of it, okay? I love fashion, <laughs> runway models, facial models, just wait for <laughs> the surprise of your life. Oh, okay, so for me, it's um, more work. Um, in the, um, in the um, acting industry, in Hollywood, hopefully Hollywood, fashion, because I'm a fashion designer, so I'm hoping to, to do more, to conquer more territories, to grow bigger brands, and also do business. I, I have an interest for real estate. I'm kind of in and out, you know, but I still have a flair for it. And of course, open to more opportunities and ideas that will come my way. To all my fans, I will start with Team Meritin. Wow, you guys are amazing, okay? Thank you for supporting me. Okay, the team was ultimate love, but I actually got the love from you guys, raw love liquid love. I, I didn't even know what I did. You guys just love me. Thank you so much. Then for Team Jerry, you guys are the best. You guys just, you know, you guys just love me. You have no choice. I know you love me. So thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Um, I would like to say thank you to the fans out there, the support we got from the beautiful people out there. Jeritin, Meritin, the ultimate love, the ones I don't know about, because I know there are people that were out there voting yeah. for us that we didn't know. We just want to say thank you, God bless you, for family that stood behind us, supported us, even when things weren't looking good. We appreciate you for your effort. We thank you for the love is over women, like coming out of the house and seeing that kind of love, it's, trust me, it's been overwhelming for us. And personally, I have been touched in different ways. I just feel like I owe you guys a lot. Yeah, and I, I Yeah, and I, and I hope that I can deliver. I hope I can make you proud now that we're out of the house, because that is what I would love to do. So God bless you. Please just manage us like that. <laughs> <laughs> we still love you guys and we know you guys love us. Thank you so much. This is a shout out going to vibe.ng. Keep watching that. Stay tuned. We love you.